All right, my saxophone people, it's number 57, symphony number one. I'll play it for you, then we'll talk about it. One, two, three. <laughs> So now this one has a lot going on. It's pretty cool, but we can figure it out. All right, so to start with, notice that note that's all by itself at the beginning. Now, how many beats are supposed to be in a measure in this song? We look at our key, our time signature, and we notice that it says 4-4. Four, four. So that tells us how many beats per measure. If you said 4, you're correct. And the bottom number, the 4, tells us what kind of note gets one beat. And the correct answer is the quarter note or the fourth note. It's as if you're saying four fourth notes per measure. And we don't call them fourth notes, though we call them quarters. A fourth and a quarter is the same thing, okay? Now, uh, so here's the deal. With a pickup note, if you look at the top of the page, it says a note that comes before the first full measure of a piece of music. And that's what's happening here, is that we're starting at the end of an incomplete measure. And so if that quarter note is the last count of an incomplete measure, what count is it? Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Or is it four? And the correct answer is it's beat number four or count number four. So why is this important? Well, when we start, we would go like this. One, two, three. So we'd play on beat number four. Okay, we wouldn't play on beat number one because that that note is on beat number four. So that's an important thing. Other than that, everything else about it is the same. We're just starting on the fourth beat of a partial measure. All right, so far so good. Now, uh, if you haven't looked at line 56 video, this is pretty important in this one because this song is loaded with slurs. It's got slurs all over the place and you have to know how to correctly play them, all right? So uh, I won't get into the detail of slurring right now in this video, but if you need to have information, I suggest you look at line 56, okay? All right, now, here's the thing. With any of this stuff, the strategy is going to be to break it down into a couple of measures at a time. So we're going to do the pickup note and the first two measures. And the first step is to just say the ta's while tapping your foot. So let's try that together. One, two, three. Ta, 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 ta. All right, and here's the view of the foot cam. Here we go, foot cam. Ready? One, two, three. Ta, 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 ta. All right? And you want to be able to do that. Make sure you can do that uh, and say it. All right? Tap your foot and say it. And just take, take your time. Stop the video if you need to. Go ahead and practice it. And then come back. All right, so now after you've got that down, the next step is to play it on one note. You can pick any note you want. I'm going to do a C for right now, just for fun. All right, and I'm going to play what I just said on my saxophone using a C. One, two, three. Okay, now practice that. Get it down, stop the video if you need to, or rewind it, or whatever you got to do, all right? Now, then the next step is to actually figure out what the notes are, all right? And so if you don't know your notes right off the bat, I want you to stop the video and look back on previous pages. Okay, all of our notes are found either on page 11, 10, 8, or 6, going backwards, all right? So if you need to look them up, stop, and then come back. All right. So then what we'd do is we'd say, all right, one, two, three, G, C, B, C, A, G, C, all right? And you'd want to be able to push those buttons and say the notes just like what I did, like that's an A, that's a G, that's a C, you know, you want to really get it under your fingers because the next step then is to actually play it. So. Practice that if you need to, and then come back. 
All right, and here we are. Now we're going to play the first couple of measures, including the pickup note, but we're not going to slur yet. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, and you're going to do that, do that, do that, do that until you get it. Again, by the way, sometimes this doesn't always happen on the first day. All right, so don't sweat it if it doesn't happen on the first day. Just keep practicing it. Remember, practice every day as best as you can. All right. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add in the slur. All right, so again, hopefully you looked at the, the video from line 56 or you already understand how to do a slur. So I will now play that for you with the slur. The key thing is, is that you don't mess with the rhythm. That's why we did it without the slur first, making sure our foot is tapping. Okay, and now I'm going to do it with the slurs. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to let you figure out the rest on your own. Go two measures at a clip. Have fun. You should be able to do this. Just keep at it, okay? Bye.